Call the meeting to order. Can I have a reading of the Open Public Meetings Act, please? In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting of the Council was provided by transmitting a copy of the meeting notice to the Madison Eagle and the Mars County Daily Record, posting a copy on the bulletin board at the main entrance of Borough Hall, and filing a copy in the office of the clerk, all on December 15, 2016. Copies of said notice were made available to members of the general public. Roll call. Mayor Conley. Here. Mr. Catalanello. Here. Mr. Landrigan. Here. Mrs. Vitali. Here. Ms. Bailey. Here. Mr. Wolkowitz. Here. Mr. Rowe. Here. Please call up uh, Mr. Javier Vieira, Dean of School of Theology for University for invocation. Thank you, Mayor. Let us pray. O oh God, our sovereign, bless the people of this borough and all who exercise authority in their name. We pray especially for our mayor and this council, asking that you grant them a spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice, that with steadfast purpose and integrity they may faithfully execute their duties and serve in their offices to promote the common good of all people. We pray also for the chiefs of the police and fire departments and their officers as they labor to keep our community safe. Protect them from all harm and safeguard their families as they strive to impartially ensure the well-being of all people in this community. Lastly, we pray for the people of this community, this state, and our nation. As this new year dawns, a year of great transition for our shared life as a nation, help us to live at peace with ourselves and to remember the vulnerable among us, and so ensure their safety and thriving. And in so doing, may we be a blessing to one another and to other peoples of the earth. We ask this with great humility in the name of all that is holy. Amen. Thank you very much. Color Guard for the presentation. To lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, Jeff Pettit, also Captain Jeff Pettit, U.S. Coast Guard and member of our Patriotic Celebrations Committee. Happy New Year, and I'll remind everyone that's had any time in our military services, you are authorized to hand salute inside or outside, covered or not. All remain covered. And salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And to lead us in the Star Spangled Banner, please join Elizabeth Monkmeyer, Madison High School student. By the dawn's early light, was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night or the
seated. As part of the tradition for our annual reorganization meeting is to recognize those, those volunteers who are stepping down from committees, boards, or commissions after at least five years of service to the borough. As I often say every year that the people you see up here, yes, are volunteers, our council members, but it's the tip of the iceberg of the volunteer work that is done in our committees. And I would like to recognize those at service. Is Timothy Blair here? Come up, get it. For service to the Zoning Board of Adjustment from 2000, I just had the year, 2012 to 2016. And for those that have either served on the Zoning Board of Adjustment or attended meetings, in committee years, that's actually 20 years because <laughs> the meetings are many and they are long and very important to the borough. So, Timothy, congratulations and thank you for your work on behalf of the borough of Madison. Dr. Don Bowen. And you have been here before to accept thanks and is, is well deserved as a former council member and having served on the Board of Health before. Um, it, I, it was an honor to have Donald come out of retirement to step back to lead our Board of Health in a difficult time and we are in a much better place for all your leadership and thank you for your service 2012 to 2016. Thank you. And my longtime friend and Bob Cultus, please come forward. Long time. Long time. <laughs> One of those that along with Tony Martell that was calling me mayor before I was mayor, and I appreciate <laughs> that. And your service on the Library Board of Trustees is, I think, just the tip of the iceberg for what you have done for the Borough of Madison. But we want to thank you for your years of service from 2007 to 2016. Thank you very much. Please bear with me as I announce this next person. Your attention please, now playing second base for the Borough of Madison, Charles Courtney. <laughs> So right now we are recognizing Charles for his service to the community gardens from 2012 to 2016. I'm having trouble with my, uh, remember my years this right. But the reason I announced his name before is these last couple years he's played on the uh, Mayor's All-Star team in our game against Quest, including scoring the, uh, at least the tying run, if not the winning run, in uh, 20, 2015. So uh, thank you for that service. But the Community Gardens, a great new project. We'll hear a little bit more about it, Rob Catanella, for his excellent work in making that happen. But it is more than just growing things, it is a community. So thank you so much for making that happen. And you're serious. <laughs> Sam Mantone here. I will get him at another time. And Bert Marcy. Well, it was a long service, too. Dating back to the last century. <laughs> I was only 12 when I That's, 
So serving the Historic Preservation Commission since 1998 to 2016, something that is truly important to Madison, as I'll be talking a little bit later about the importance of saving our historic homes and the character of Madison, and your work has made that so much easier. Thank you, Bert, for all your work. <laughs> For me. Rob, you want to come forward? Special proclamation to recognize the work of Rob Catanello. Just a few comments before I read this. You know, Rob and I, over the last six years, we don't know, we didn't always agree. Yeah. But one of the important things that when we didn't agree, and this is a lesson for Trenton, for Washington, for sure. is what you do is you make a phone call and you meet at a local watering hole and you have a beer together and you discuss what the issues may be. And even if you walk out after having that beer and you don't agree, you understand where each are coming from, and I think that works so well in our relationship, and I appreciate all those, all those uh, beers together. <laughs> Whereas Robert Cannonello has served the Borough of Madison as council member from January 1st, 2011, through December 31st, 2016, and whereas during his ter term of office, Councilman Catanello has served as chair and co-chair of Community Affairs, Community Affairs co-chair from 2013 to 2016, finance chair 2012, health chair 2016, joint meeting finance chair 2012, public safety chair 2015, public works and engineering standing committee chair 2013 and 14, public works and engineering standing committee co-chair 2011, 12, 15, and 16. And whereas Councilman Catanello has served on the following boards and commissions, Board of Education Liaison, 2014. Board of Health, 2012 to 2016. Chamber of Commerce, 2011. Community Gardens, 2012 to 2016. Complete Streets, 2013, 14, and 15. Downtown Development Commission, 2011. Environmental Commission, 2011 to 2014. Historic Preservation Commission, 2013 and 14. Joint Municipal Court, 2015. Local Emergency Planning Council, 2015. MASA, 2016. Mouse, Madison Housing Authority, 2012. Park Advisory Committee, 2013-14. Pro Project Community Pride, 2015. Property Maintenance Emergency Committee, 2016. Recreation Advisory Committee, 2011. Safety Committee, 2014 and 15. Senior Citizens Advisory Committee, 2011. Shade Tree Management Board, 2013 and 14. Sustainable Madison Advisory Committee, 2014. Now you know why I didn't memorize all this. It would have been very difficult. Whereas Councilman Catanella was passionate in support of the turf field project of Madison Recreation Complex, including serving as an active fundraiser to make it happen. And whereas Councilman Catanella provided proposed legislation that founded the Madison Community Garden. And whereas finance chair, Councilman Catanello initiated direct contact with ratings agencies in an effort to maintain Madison's AAA bond rating. And whereas a persistent proponent of repairing Madison's infrastructure, Councilman Catanello also looked for ways to increase revenue, such as the establishment of the Madison Waterline Pro Protection Program. And whereas Councilman Catanello, as police liaison, worked with Chief Dachison to promote Captain Joseph Cirillo. And whereas, as health liaison, Council Catanello assisted to make necessary changes to put the department on the road to fiscal stability and focus on delivering excellent services to the residents. Now there, let it be resolved that the governing body of the Borough of Madison and the County of Morris in the state of New Jersey wishes to express its gratitude and appreciation to Councilman Robert G. Catanello for his dedicated service and commitment to Madison. 
We, the mayor and members of the council, have enjoyed the privilege of working with him and extend our best wishes to him and his family in all future endeavors. And as is the tradition in the borough of Madison for outgoing council members, you have the official chair you, with a seal. Rendo always yells when we have too much furniture. Right there, there, there we go. One, definitely there needs to be a spot for it. Would you like to say a few words? Um, I would just like to say thank you very much for the opportunity to serve. Uh, it, it has been a, uh, a pleasure to see the, uh, the changes that we as a group have been able to make, uh, particularly as it pertains to focusing again on infrastructure and, and uh, the financial stability. Uh, but, uh, you know, everything else uh, with the community garden and the, and the uh, uh, fields, thank you so much for including that in my proclamation. And, and what made me most proud was working with uh, Borough Administration and Chief Cirilla in uh, getting, you know, Captain Cirilla promoted um, in 2015. Uh, I think it meant a lot to, to me personally and hopefully to him. Um, it was very rewarding and, and Good luck to everyone. Thank you very much. And this is just one other piece for you. I'd like to call up Assemblywoman Myla Jacy, Maureen Byrne, and family, please come forward. It is my pleasure this evening to administer the oath to my friend, Maureen Byrne, and to congratulate her on her persistence and her hard work paid off, and the people of Madison will in indeed benefit from it. So please repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Maureen Byrne. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. And justly perform all the duties. And justly perform all of the duties of council member of the borough of Madison. Of council member of the borough of Madison. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. I further solemnly swear. I further solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And I will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments. And to the government. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Congratulations.
We're going to do a seat shuffle in just a second here. Okay, here. We're going to do a little family of Pat Rowe, please come forward. Good. All right, Kim. Pat, repeat after me. I state your name. I, Patrick Rowe. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of. All the duties of. Council member of the Borough of Madison. Council member of the Borough of Madison. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. I further solemnly swear. I further solemnly swear. I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear truth, faith, and allegiance to the same. And I will bear truth, faith, and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations and welcome on second term. Roll call, please. Mayor Conley. Here. Mr. Landrigan. Here. Mrs. Vitale. Here. Ms. Bailey. Here. Mr. Wolkowitz. Here. Mr. Rowe. Here. Mrs. Byrne. Here. Welcome all. Great to see such a nice turnout as a, uh, we rescheduled our <coughs> meeting with a uh, extra holiday this weekend and uh, to allow uh, Pat to return from China and get a little rest in before we uh, swore him in for a second term. I appreciate it. We that. need him running on all cylinders, so. And before I start my comments, I want to take a few minutes to reflect and remember those we've lost in the past year in the borough of Madison. Barbara Stevenson, the founder of Madison's Farmer's Market, the market that still thrives today, many years later. Sal DiBiase former water foreman, 38-year borough employee. Ruth Hammond, active leader with the Senior Center and St. Vincent's. Bud Holzman, veteran, longtime member of the Patriotic Celebrations Committee. Andrew Hurley, father and volunteer soccer coach. Tony Martell, whose promise to raise $1 million gave birth to the T.J. Martell Foundation and over $270 million to fight cancer, leukemia, and AIDS. And in the past weeks, few weeks, we have lost Leanna Brown, freeholder, state senator, and with her husband, Stan, a passionate supporter of the Museum of Early Trades and Crafts. And we also lost 94-year-old Nancy Sedano, who lived downtown for the last 67 years. Each of these people made their mark on our community. Please take a moment to reflect on their lives, along with other lives that have we have lost over the past year. Thank you. I want to welcome Assemblywoman Myla J.C. And we had Assemblyman John McKeon here, but he had to uh, run off to uh, take his daughter to the Devil's Game. We can. My message can only go so far, I guess. And we have a great turnout from the uh, county. As they say, a new sheriff in town, Sheriff James Gannon. Freeholder. Freeholder, Doug Cabana. Freeholder, Tom Mastrangello.
Beholder, holder, Deborah Smith. Beholder, holder, Christine Meyer. County Clerk, Ann Grassi. It's the advantage of doing this at uh, 5 o'clock instead of yesterday at noon. We get to have a good part of the freeholder board here. They're not talking business, so we didn't have to advertise it. Um, and Board of Education President, Lisa Ellis. Thank you for joining us. And of course, the Rowe and Byrne families for uh, coming out to uh, congratulate your uh, hardworking uh, parents and spouses, and, so. and all the volunteers, <laughs> family, friends, and residents of Madison that have come out tonight. I want to thank Javier Vieira, the Dean of Drew University, for a fine invocation. Our town and gown relationship is so important, so it's an honor to have you join us today and just to show and demonstrate to the town what Drew University means. And thank you to Elizabeth Monkmeyer for a national anthem. Fighting off a cold, you did a beautiful job. And Captain Jeff Pettit for leading our Pledge of Allegiance and serving our country. Pat Rowe, welcome to, uh, I was going to say your new seat, but you haven't moved yet. You will have a new seat at the next meeting, and you won't be uh, moving to adjourn the meetings anymore. And um, another term of serving the residents of Madison, your second term as council member after many years of serving the Board of Education. And welcome to Maureen, as you take your record of volunteerism to another level. And of course, our returning council members, Carmela Vitale, Bob Landergan, Oscar Bailey, Ben Wolkowitz, we're ready for another great year. And before I look into that new year, I'd like to update on a few goals that I outlined on January 1st last year. In my message, I put forward the challenges we face in downtown and with preserving historic homes and the character of Madison. I'm happy to say we have made progress in both areas. In the first quarter, we will have the results of the market study being conducted by Urbanomics, and many of you have responded to the uh, surveys to help in that work. The, the consulting firm will give us not all the answers, they're not gonna do the work for us, but they will give us a roadmap that will lead to a stronger, even more vibrant town center. This is all occurring as the Green Village Road School Redevelopment Project is moving towards a late summer completion, which will give us 135 residential units right steps away from downtown, along with our 3,000 square foot community space that will serve Madison for music, drama, art shows, and other events. The challenge of preserving our historic homes and neighborhood character will not be an easy one. Well, we did make progress in 2016. A symposium was conducted earlier in the year, was attended by over 60 Madison residents. Presentations from experts and group discussions have given us great ideas for preservation. Planning board member Jeff Gertler has taken the lead in working with developers, realtors, and others to find ways to save our special homes while keeping the balance with property rights. Always a challenge. And we already have seen progress as Alan Andreas, Madison developer and participant in the symposium, revised his project on Ridgedale Avenue. This project had been viewed as an example of a loss of historic home as this beautiful home across the high school is gonna to be torn down. As he participated and understood what it meant to Madison and how we can work together, came back with a revision and received approval from the planning board and the historic home will survive. Now looking forward, as I sat down to prepare my comments for today, I thought of a question that I'm often asked. What are you most proud of in your time so far as mayor? And my answer is that when the time comes, my legacy should not be based on what, but, or what I have done, but how we have worked together to make Madison a better place. During my time up here, the council has not always agreed on a path, but we have worked together towards a solution. Yes, there might have been a little tension here and there. <laughs> But respect would always triumph. And for those who follow only Madison, this is not necessarily the norm found in other communities. This is special to Madison. The how was demonstrated just this past November as this council approved a new electric rate adjustment. 
There are strong opinions on both sides, but we work together for a solution that will work well for the residents of Madison. On a broader scale, it is the how Madison's community continually goes above and beyond. We saw it in the days and weeks and months after Sandy, four years ago. We see it every year on May Day. We saw it just over a year ago as Madisonians lined, lined the streets to honor Captain Joe Cirilla as a funeral, his funeral procession passed through town. We saw how we work with the Black Lives Matter march just a, a month and a half ago. Because in the front of the march, walking with the student leaders were Police Chief Darren Jatchison, Pastors Craig Dunn of First Baptist Church, Scott Foster of Madison Presbyterian Church, along with Mary, Marianne Benninger, President Drew, and me as mayor of a town that works for the greater good. This is how we work together in Madison. This past Saturday, at the stroke of midnight, many of us welcomed 2017 by saying good riddance to 2016. But we will not turn our backs on the challenges that we saw in 2016, but instead we will do what Madison does best and work together to build a better community and world. As we start off our new year, Madison's Interfaith Council, under the leadership of Reverend Craig Dunn and Reverend Scott Foster, will be working with Drew University and the College of St. Elizabeth and other leaders on taking on the challenge of building community. Events will start with the celebration of Martin Luther King's birthday in two weeks, and will be followed in the coming months with the things that may include a peace march, a musical celebration of diversity, cultural exchanges, ethnic food festival, all with the goal of breaking down walls and barriers while building community. Just as Madison welcomed immigrants a century ago, this is the how behind what makes Madison so strong, and hopefully in the coming years, we will make our world a better place. And if you don't think the 16,000 residents can make a difference, remember Tony Martell's promise to raise a million dollars a challenge he accepted with no idea how he would do it, a promise that made to his legacy of raising a quarter of a billion dollars. Together, we will make this a better community, a stronger community, and a better world. So now, let's all start with a happy and healthy new year. I have a motion for the nomination of council president. Yes, Mayor, I'd like to nominate Carmela Vitali. Also, we'd like to second. <laughs> he beat you to it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Congratulations, Thank Council you. President Carmela Vitali. Motion for the adoption of bylaws for 2017. Mayor, I move uh, that the bylaws be adopted as the bylaws of the governing body of the Borough of Madison for the year 2017. Second. Roll call vote. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitali? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Ms. Byrne? I would like to make the following appointments to the Council Standing Committees for the year 2017. Finance and Borough Clerk, Austri Bailey, backup Carmela Vitali. Public Safety, Robert Landrigan, backup Maureen Byrne. Public Works and Engineering, Carmela Vitali, backup Patrick Rowe. Utilities, ben, Benjamin Wolkowitz, and backup Robert Landrigan. Health, Patrick Rowe, backup Austri Bailey. Community Affairs, Maureen Byrne, and with backup of Benjamin Wolkowitz. I move confirmation of the foregoing appointments. Second. Second. Roll call vote, please. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitali? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. I would like to make the uh, follow following nominations. Borough Attorney, Matthew Giacobbe, Esquire. Housing Officer, Michael Fitzpatrick. Zoning Officer, Frank Russo. Deputy Zoning Officer, Daniel Buckaloo, Fire Subcode Official, Bruce Barrios. Mayor, I move confirmation of the foregoing appointments. Second. Roll call vote. 
Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. I would like to announce the following appointments that are not subject to council confirmation. Environmental Commission, three-year term through December 31st, 2019, Ellen Cranefuss. One-year terms through December 31st, 2017, Stephen Stockert, Jeffrey Gertler, and Carmela Vitale as council liaison. And for the Historic Preservation Commission, for your term through December 31st, 2020, Christian Kellogg. Uh, for uh, Class C regular, John Forte. Uh, Class C regular also, J Carmen Toto. Unexpired two-year term through December 31st, 2017, Dave, Dave Luber as alternate number one. And two-year term through December 31st, 2018, Ann Huber, uh, alternate number two. And his liaison, December through December 31st, 2017, Carmela Vitale. And for planning board, the following appointment, John Forte, class two official, borough of the borough, other, other than governing body through December 31st, 2017. <coughs> and a motion a, um, a, of appointment for the planning board representative from the council, please. I'll move Mayor. Mr. Belly. <laughs> second. I'll second. <laughs> Thank you. Roll call vote, please. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. I would like to make the following appointments requiring council confirmation. These are all for one year terms through December 31st, 2017. Board of Education liaison, Robert Landrigan. Chamber of Commerce liaison, Maureen Byrne. Historian, Kay Leary. Housing Authority liaison, Patrick Rowe. Joint meeting. Council Representatives, Austria Bailey Finance Personnel Committee Vice Chair, and Ben Wolkowitz, Finance Personnel Committee Member. Joint Municipal Court, Robert Landrigan and Austria Bailey as members. Museum of Early Trades and Crafts, Austria Bailey Council Liaison. Saic Valley Groundwater Protection Committee, Daniel Kelly. Kelly. Project Community Pride, Robert, Robert Landrigan as Liaison. Whippany River Watershed Action Committee, Carmela Vitale Liaison. Madison Community Pool, Patrick Rowe, liaison. Mayor, I move approval of the foregoing appointments. Second. Roll call vote, please. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. Well, Mr. Landrigan, please announce the following appointments. Yes, Ms. Mayor. Board of Education, four year term through December 31st, 2000. Board of Health? Board of Health, I'm sorry. <laughs> Four-year term through December 31st, 2020, Eric Range. Unexpired term, two-year term through December 31st, 2017, Michael Giordano. Two-year term through December 31st, 2018, Sandra Lascardi. And one-year term through December 31st, 2017, Patrick Rowe, Council Liaison. Community Garden Advisory Committee. Three-year terms through December 31st, 2019, Ursula Leonhardt, Brian McAuliffe, and Brian, Stephen McAuliffe, and Brian Muggam, and one year term through December 31st, 2017, Maureen Byrne, Council Liaison. Complete Streets Committee, one year term through December 31st, 2017, Mayor Ex Officio Robert H. Conley, Public Safety Council Liaison Robert Landrigan, Engineering Council Liaison Carmela Vitale, Borough Engineer Robert Vogel, Public Works Superintendent, Madison, Madison Police Representatives, Lieutenant Joseph Longo and Corporal Vincent Delaval, Board of Education Representative, Ms. Lisa Ellis, Resident Mark Charlanza, and Resident Kirk Oates. Mayor, I move approval of the foregoing appointments. I second. Roll call vote. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. Ms. Vitale, please announce the uh, mayor's appointments for the following committees. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Downtown Development Commission, uh, three year term through December 31st, 2019, Bradley Kramer, owner, merchant, landlord, Mark Fabianski. Uh, resident Leslie Lajewski, Board of Education Representative Eric Range, Higher Education Representative Robert Rocco, at large Bob Short, at large Russell Stern, at large. Unexpired three year term through December 31st, 2018, Michael Kopis, at large. 
One year term through December 31st, 2017, Maureen Byrne, Council hmm. Liaison. Library trust, Trustees, five year term through December 31st, 2021, James Schessler, Trustee, David Luber, Trustee, Sarah Reichel, Board of Education Representative. Local Emergency Planning Council for 2017. Administrator, Assistant Borough Administrator, Borough Engineer, Construction Official, Electric Utility Superintendent, Fire Chief, Health Officer, Mayor, Superintendent of Public Works, Council Liaison, Carmela Vitale, Auxiliary Police, John Granada, Board of Education, Representative John Connolly, Madison Eagle, Gary Herzog, uh, Mars, uh, Madison Chatham Joint uh, Municipal Sewer, Superintendent Chris Manick, Medical Representative Dr. Carmen Romano, Drew University Rep Dr. William Ortman, OEM Coordinator Robert Landrigan, OEM Deputy Coordinator Police Chief Darren Datchison, uh, OEM Assistant Dep Deputy Coordinator uh, Sergeant James Caveza, OEM Assistant Coordinator, Coordinator Ten O'Donnell, Pharmacist Frank Iannarone, Public Information Officer <coughs> Lieutenant Joseph Longo. Races Lee Storm, School Resource Officer, Special Officer Vincent Galgano, Secretary Christy Keel, Senior Citizens Advisory Rep. I move approval of the foregoing appointments. Second. We'll call a vote, please. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Burke? Yes. Well, Ms. Bailey, please announce the following appointments. Ms. Mayor, Madison Alliance addressing substance abuse, three-year term through December 31, 2019. Lisa Sprague, Project Pride Director. Libby Brooks Schessler, Madison Junior School Rep. Katie Kuntz, YMCA Youth Programs. Unexpired three-year term through December 31, 2017. Special Officer Vincent Galgano, Law Enforcement Liaison. One-year term through December 31, 2017. Patrick Rowe, Council Liaison. Municipal Audit Committee, three-year term through December 31, 2019. Arthur Powell, Regular. One-year term through December 31, 2017. Oscar Bailey, Council Liaison. Open Space, Recreation, and Historic Preservation Advisory Committee, three-year term through December 31, 2019. Tom Pescula, Madison Resident, one of four. One year term through December 31, 2017. Kathy Coltis, Parks Advisory Committee. Representative George Limbach, Planning Board Representative. William Van Risen, Historic Preservation Commission Representative. Peter Hiscato, Recreation Committee. Mayor Robert H. Connolly, ex officio. Ben Wolkowitz, Council Liaison. Parks Advisory Committee, one year term through December 31, 2017. Paul Alaco, Chair. Kathy Coltis, Secretary. Robert McDowell, John Pignatero, Jordan Stern, John Taylor, Jeffrey Thomas, Lois Wilkowitz, Carmela Vitale, Council Liaison. Mayor, I move approval of the foregoing appointments. Second. Second. All call vote. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wilkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Mr. Wilkowitz, please make the uh, following mayor appointments announce, announce them. Patriotic Celebrations Committee, one year term through December 31st, 2017. Ron DiBiase, Peter R. Fleming Sr., Thomas J. Granado, Wayne Henderson, James Kempt, Jeffrey Pettit, Michael Piano, Edward Rowland, James Savage, Victor <laughs> Schumacher, Patrick Sherwood, and Council Liaison Carmela Vitale. Property Maintenance Emergency Committee, one year term through December 31st, 2017. Construction Code Official, Health Officer, Board of Health President, Board of Health Member. Uh, two of two for the member, one of two for the President. And Council Liaison and Chair will be Patrick W. Rowe. Recreation Advisory Committee, one year term through December 31st, 2017. Harvey Allen, Community Pool Rep. Bill Beeman, Karen Blout, Becky Campbell, Dave Carver, Colleen Castellano, Brenda Catalanello, Nino Coviello, Zach Ellis, Ex Officio Recreation Director, Lisa Ellis, Board of Education Rep, Patrick Flaherty, Tony Gero, Tom Harrell and Plutus, 
Peter Hiscano, Christopher Holland, Vito Lupino, Ellis Seedham, Ta Tara Spagnoletti, Kenneth Ware, Bill Wilt, and Council Liaison, Maureen Byrne. Mayor, I move, I move approval of the foregoing appointments. Second. Roll call vote. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. Request that Mr. Rowe announce the mayor's appointments for the following uh, committees. A safety committee, one year term through December 31st, 2017. The borough administrator, borough engineer, chief financial officer, electric utility superintendent, fire chief, health officer, Madison Chatham joint meeting superintendent, police chief, qualified purchasing agent, recreation director, superintendent of public works, and Robert Landrigan, council liaison. For the senior citizens advisory committee, one year term through December 31st, 2017, Ruth Barrett, AARP rep, Rotary Club rep, Lana Crasto, Rexford S. Tucker Apartments rep, Marlene Dolan, Madison Health Department, Peggy Donnelly, Rose City Steppers, Phyllis Fleming at large, Sandra Fiello, Stay Healthy Program, Lou Gaburo, Friends of the Seniors, John Hoover, DDC Rep, Edna Early Byrne, Senior Citizens Coordinator, Kay Leary, Thursday Morning Club Rep, Kay Sh Schaller, RSVP, Joe Gonsalves, YMCA Rep, Jeffrey Payton, Madison Library Rep, and Maureen Byrne, Council Liaison. And for the Shade Tree Management Board, five-year term through December 31st, 2021, Vince LeCarry regular, and a one-year term through December 31st, 2017, Carmelo Vital, Council Liaison. Mayor, I move approval of the foregoing uh, appointments. Second. We'll call a vote. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. Request uh, Mrs. Byrne to uh, make the following mayor's appointments. For Sustainable Madison Advisory Committee, a one-year term through December 31st, 2017, Stephen Stockert, MEC Representative, Board of Education Representative, Superintendent of Public Works, and Carmela Vital as Council Liaison. For the Utilities Advisory Committee, three-year terms through December 31st, 2019, Jeffrey Kerr, regular, and Michael Soriano, regular. One year term through December 31st, 2017, Benjamin Wolkowitz, Council Liaison. For Zoning Board of Adjustment, a four year term through December 31st, 2020, Mary Sue Salco, regular. An unexpired two year term through December 31st, 2017, Ann Lawless, alternate number one and a two-year term through December 31st, 2018, Timothy Fitzsimmons, alternate number two. Mayor, I move approval of the foregoing appointments. Second. We'll call a vote. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. Any communications or petitions? A none received, Mayor. And this is now the time for invitation for discussion from the public. This, you may comment on anything. Please, if you wish to comment, please step forward up to the lectern, state your name, your address, and write the same on the clipboard, and please try to keep your comments to three minutes or less. Anyone wishing to comment? Seeing none, I close this part of the meeting. Will the clerk please read the statement on the consent agenda resolutions? Consent agenda resolutions will be enacted with a single motion. Any resolution requiring expenditure is supported by a certification of availability of funds. Any resolution requiring discussion will be removed from the consent agenda. All resolutions will be reflected in full in the minutes. Mayor, I move the, uh, the adoption of resolutions listing on uh, consent agenda. Resolution 12017 to resolution... Uh, R32-2017. Second. Second. Any council discussion? Roll call vote. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Mrs. Vitale? Yes. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Wolkowitz? Yes. Mr. Rowe? Yes. Mrs. Byrne? Yes. And Mrs. Byrne, can you take care of item number 21 on the agenda there? I move that we adjourn. Thank you. Good job. Good job.